All right, so as always, don't worry about getting the movements perfect. There's nothing to memorize. Just follow along. I'll be your mirror image, and you can have a seat at any time. We'll begin with the feet together, or as close as you can. The hands can come to the lower abdomen, taking a few deep breaths in and out. As you breathe in, the belly expands. As you breathe out, the belly returns toward the spine. Abdominal breathing. Breathing in and breathing out. Arriving in the body. Coming into the here and now. Letting go of the worries from the day. Then on the next inhale, you can hold the breath at the top just for a moment. Let it out with a big sigh. <sighs> Hands float down by the sides. And as you breathe in, the arms float up. They circle in front, gather in the energy, bring it into the heart. Send it down towards the earth, sinking the chi. Breathing in, gather. Breathing out, directing down. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Feeling the sensations. One more time, sink the chi. This time you can step one foot out to the side, either foot. The arms float up in front, just to about shoulder height. The arms get heavy, floating down, the knees and hips soften. Breathing in like mist rising from the lake. Breathing out, floating down like a soft rain. We call this opening the door, start of the journey. And then this time, if you want, you can lift your heels, coming on the balls of your feet as you rise up. Then as you soften down, gently lifting the toes. So one more time, rising up if you want. And then softening down, lifting the toes. And then from here, the arms float out in front. They circle all the way around, out and away from each other. Then the palms face up. They float up the midline of the body, pressing up overhead, floating all the way out and down, holding up the sky. It's like a good morning stretch. Ah, opening the shoulders and chests. Maybe even getting a little taller. One more time, holding up the sky. This time the hands float up to the heart. One hand pushes up, the other pushes down, connecting the sky and the earth. Switching sides, keeping the spine neutral at first. And then if you want this time, you can do a side bend. Just always easing in. Once more to the other side. Connecting above and below. And then from here, the bottom hand comes up, push to the corner, the other hand pushes behind. Coming back to center, push to the other corner, the dragon spreads its wings. This time you can turn more if you want. Pivoting on the feet, you can let the back heel come up too. And then once more to the other side, pivoting on the feet, protecting the knees. So trying not to twist too much. And then from here, the back hand swings around as if it's gliding on the surface of the water. The other hand comes around as the dragon swings its tail, sending little waves out into the distance. One more time, drift across. This time the hands come together, prayer position. They float right across the eye level and across the heart and then lower abdomen. Swimming dragon. The arms float back up for another round, opening the wrists, the shoulders. You can even lean into it if you want. Ah, still breathing. From here, the arms circle in front as if you're hugging a big tree. And then from here, both hands draw in towards the hips, making two loose fists, and then soften the hips and knees. And then from here, we're gonna punch one hand right out in front. And then gather in the energy, bring it in as you rise up. And then softening down, punch with the other fist coming forward. Gather the energy, bring it in. This time as you punch, open the eyes wide. Gather in. One more time to the other side. Punching while looking fiercely. Very nice. And then from here, this hand swings around all the way up top and then comes back in towards the hip. Once again, making a fist, and then open the hand. The back of the hand leads the way. And then we'll do the other hand. 
The back of the hand floats up, drawing back in towards the hip. Other side, I'm sorry, same side. <laughs> and now we'll do both sides together, so alternating. So one hand comes up, and then the other hand. So the dragon grabs the elixir. All right, one more time. Good one for coordination. <laughs> and then from here, circle around, hug the tree, rounding out and soften. Step one foot out a little bit wider. And then from here, the fingertips dip down towards the earth. The hands come forward, they come all the way up and over, and then down the center line of the body, digging in the garden. Breathing in, breathing out, almost like you're holding a column of air. Circling it all the way around, one more time. And then reverse direction, the hands float up, they drift out and down as we harvest from the garden, reversing the direction. And as always, it doesn't matter how low you go, just meeting yourself where you're at. One more time. This time round out as if you're hugging a big tree. And then from here, the arms open up wide. This hand scoops under the other one on top as you embrace the moon. And pivot on the heel, the toes point out to the side. The moon orbits the earth, circling it around. Almost like you're carrying something precious. Holding this ball, holding the moon. And then reverse direction. Whichever way you were going, just go the other way. Circling it around, taking your time, no rush, nowhere to go. And then when you're ready, you can hug the tree, and bring it right back to center, pivoting on the heel so the toes face forward, the arms open. Then this hand scoops under, the other one on top, embrace the moon. Pivot on the heel, the toes point out the other way. The moon orbits the earth. Or sometimes called stirring the chi. Circulating the energy, throughout the body. And then reverse direction, circle it around. Breathing, one more time. And then hug the tree, bring it right back to center, pivot on the heel, step the foot in a little bit closer. And then from here, the arms reach all the way up overhead, right to the top of the mountain. And the hands begin to gently drift down to one side and then down to the other, like you're going down the mountain trail. And then when you get all the way to the base of the mountain, we'll gather the energy from the earth, bring it all the way back up to the mountain peak, and then drift down the other way, descending the mountain. It's taking your time, like an autumn leaf floating down from a tree. And then when you get to the bottom, we'll begin to circle in front as if the little leaf just fell in a little puddle right, in, right at the base of the mountain, swirling around. All right, one more time. This time the hands float up to shoulder height, the palms face away, the hands drift right across the heart and then down. Floating up, drift across, painting on the canvas like nice gentle brush strokes. Once more. This time the arms circle up and over like a big wave, just as much as you can. Then circling it back around, chin circles. Breathing in. <sighs> Breathing out, or taking as many breaths as you need. And then reverse direction, start by circling low. So the right in front, like you're making this little wave right in front of the body, nice and low. You're stirring the water, stirring the chi. And then the arms float up to shoulder height, palms face away, drift right across the horizon. Once again, taking your time, coming down. Painting on the canvas. Very nice, one more time. All 
Right, this time all the way up and over, just as much as you can. Once again, never forcing it, just a nice gentle stretch. The chin circles, big, big open. One more time. And then circle in front, hug the tree, and then soften. From here, the arms open up wide. This hand here scoops under, step in as you catch the moon, and step out to the corner. And as you step out, the bottom hand tosses the moon into the sky. The other hand pushes down. And circle it back around, parting the wild horse's mane. And as always, don't worry about getting it perfect. Just keep on moving. It's the secret of Tai Chi. Continuous flow. One more time, breathing in, breathing out. And then from here, the bottom hand scoops up, the wrists cross up top. The arms float down as you circle out and around, and then back up top. The princess on the mountain top. Breathing in, opening, breathing out. Once again, take as many breaths as you need. As long as you're breathing, you're doing good. And then from here, step the front foot back in, hug the tree. The arms open wide. And this hand scoops under, step in, catch the moon, step out to the corner, bottom hand floats up, the other hand floats down, parting the wild horse's mane, creating tranquility out of chaos, the calm within the storm. All right, one more time. This time, bottom hand scoops up, the wrists cross up top, the arms float down, circling out and around, back up top. Princess on the mountaintop. Once again, just circling it around, coming up just as much as you can. Just letting go of striving. And then when you're ready, step the front foot back in, hug the tree, and soften. From here, shift your weight to one side, draw the hands in towards the heart, step in, and then step out to the corner, pushing the mountain. Drawing in. Pushing out. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Taking your time, feeling the flow. One more time, the push. This time the palms face towards each other. The hands go out to the corner. The palms face away from each other. They open, circling out and around, scooping under, back out to the corner. Parting the clouds. Breathing in, <sighs> breathing out. Nice big open, almost like you're swimming through the water. All right, one more time, parting the clouds. This time, step the front foot back in, the hands come back in towards the heart. Shift the weight, step to the other corner, pushing the mountain. Drawing in, pushing out. The yin and the yang. Storing the energy and then releasing. And then from here, the palms face towards each other. The hands go out to the corner. The palms face away from each other. They open, circling out and around, scooping under, back out to the corner. Parting the clouds. In, ah, breathing out. Nice and easy, really feeling the sensations, bringing mindfulness to the body. All right, one more time, parting the clouds. And then step the front foot back in, hug the tree, bring it back to center. From here, the arms open wide. This hand here drops down and then drifts over to the other side. The hands switch positions. Then they float across like clouds in the sky. The hands switch again. Wave hands like clouds. Drifting across. Ah, still breathing. Just letting go of any tension you don't need. One more time, drift across. This time the top hand makes a hook. The bottom hand comes up. 
then floats right across the horizon, the palm turns out, and then circle it back around, single whip. This time, if you want, you can step the foot in as the hand comes up, and then step out as it floats across. One more time, single whip. And then release the hook. The hand floats over. Cloud hands. Once again, take your time as you step in. Drift across, letting go. Moving from your center. Let the arms follow. Let them be light and soft. Let the energy do the work. Cloudy hands. All right, one more time. Drift across. This time the top hand makes a hook. The bottom hand comes up and then floats across the horizon. The palm turns out and then circle it around. Single whip. You can keep going just like that. Or if you want this time, you can step in. And then step out. One more time, single whip. Release the hook, the hand drifts over. <sighs> Cloud hands. Take your time stepping in, drift across. Nice and easy, nice and slow. All right, this time step in as you make a hook. And then step out, single whip. One more time, circle it around. And then reverse direction. The hand floats up and over, presses down. The hand scoops through and then back up. Snake creeps through the grass. Once again, circling it around. All right, once more. And then release the hook. The hand drifts over. Cloud hands. Take your time stepping in. Drift across. Like clouds in the sky. This time step in as you make a hook. Step out for single whip. Once more. Then reverse direction, the hand comes up and over, pressing down, scooping through, and then back up. Once again, the snake creeps through the grass. Coming down just as low as you can, without straining. And then release the hook. The hands become clouds, once again, stepping in like nature, with effortless ease, <sighs> breathing, letting go, using only what you need. One more time, cloud hands. This time the bottom hand comes up into a hook right in front. The other hand scoops under the firefly and the lantern. Then the hands switch, drifting across. Soften the elbow and the shoulders. Soften the shoulders and neck. Drift across. Breathing. One more time, the firefly in the lantern. And then release, round out, hug the tree. <sighs> Soften, the arms float over to the side, they drift down. Nice gentle sway, side to side. The arms can stay low. Just letting them soften. And then from here, shift over to one side, tap the heel right out in front. Step back in, other side, shift the weight, tap the heel. Alright, this time.
and tap the heel, the hand comes over the foot. Other side, tap the heel, the hand comes over the foot. And this time, hand over the foot, other hand in front of the heart. Play the pipa, the Chinese guitar. Other side, tap the heel, the hands come out in front. Breathing in, breathing out. All right, one more time. Play the pipa. And then step in and hug the tree. Step one foot out a little bit wider. And then from here, both arms float all the way over to the side. They drift down. They float up to shoulder height. One hand makes an arrow. The other draws the bow. And then soften the hips and knees. And then rising up, release the bow. Other side. One hand makes an arrow, draw the bow and soften down. Rising up, release the bow. This time you can do it all together. Draw the bow as you soften down. One more time, the archer. Beautiful. Circle it around. Hug the tree. Step the foot in a little bit closer. And from here, the palms face towards each other, right in front of the heart. As you breathe in, the hands open slightly. As you breathe out, they come towards each other. This time, open a little bit more. And then finally, big opening, accordion breathing. Another round. Breathing in, just a little bit at first. And then a little bit more. Breathing out. This time, big open. One more round, accordion breathing. Big opening, very nice. And then from here, the hands drop down. They brush out to the sides, coming up to shoulder height. Coming back down and then right in front of the heart, breathing in. And as you breathe out, cleansing the lungs, clearing out old stuck energy. No longer serving you. Making room for the new. One more time, cleansing the lungs. Breathing in and breathing out. This time, circle the arms all the way around. Hug the tree and soften. The arms open up wide. The hands float down. The palms face up. One hand on top of the other. This hand floats all the way up and over. And then down the center line of the body. Other side, breathe in as the hand floats up. Breathing out, centering. Nice and easy, nice and slow. One more time. This time both arms float all the way up and over just as much as you can. The hands float down to the waist as you soften the hips and knees. Circle in front as you gather in the energy. Look, you had a big ball right in front of the body, scooping under. Bring the energy into the heart and then back down. One more time, open the heart. This time making a diamond shape with the hands right in front. Press out. Sending out all your loving kindness to the world. May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they live with ease. Then turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. Hands can float down to the lower abdomen. You can step your feet together or as close as you can. You can close your eyes or just keep a soft gaze and let your body rock and sway ever so gently. Bamboo in the wind. Just feeling the gentle rocking sensations in the body.
Feel the sensation of the body breathing. And bring your attention into your heart, creating an inner smile, expressing gratitude to yourself for being here today. And if your eyes were closed, you can slowly open them. Hands can come together in front of the heart. We can finish with the bottom.